everybody, my name is Samantha and I am here today to talk to you about how to fit your dog with a harness. And fitting your dog with a harness is very important um, for many reasons. If you don't fit the harness correctly, your dog could slip out of it, which defeats the purpose of the harness. It could restrict his range of motion in his legs, which is going to be very detrimental to your dog and make him extremely uncomfortable. It could also cause injury if it's too tight. There could be some sh some chafing or it could actually cut in um, and, and give your dog a laceration. So um, you really need to make sure, it's very important to make the harness fit properly. Harnesses are a great help when walking your dog. Uh, this is our chocolate lab, Sadie. It's very hot here in Maine today, so Sadie's not super cooperative because she doesn't like the heat, um, but she's wearing a collar. And just to show you, obviously, if you um, pulled on the leash or if your dog pulled on the leash, all of the pressure from a collar is going to be right on your dog's neck and throat. So a harness spreads out that impact all along their chest. Um, which is much safer for your dog, it's more comfortable for them, and it makes it easier for you as well when you're walking your dog. So there are many different types of harnesses. If you're looking for a no-pull harness, um, you, you need to do a little bit of research and find the no-pull harness that you are comfortable with and um, the no-pull harness that's going to be best for your dog. There are many different styles. Some go uh, wrap around the back legs and put pressure on the back legs when your dog pulls. Some of them wrap around the muzzle and put pressure on the muzzle. So depending on what um, you're comfortable with and, and obviously what your dog's comfortable with, you're going to have to choose a no-pull harness based on uh, that. And those fit in different ways and they do different things. Um, so that's a video for another day. So if you're looking for a no-pull harness, um, this isn't the video for you. Today I'm just talking about a standard regular harness. And there are two types. There's a step into harness and there's an over the head harness. First, I'm gonna show you the step into harness and this is the most traditional kind of harnesses. Um, what you have here is two places for your dog's paws and then the chest strap. Sadie, hey, come here. Hi, go on, Chloe. I know, it's not your turn though. Come here, Sadie. So I'm gonna have Sadie just step into this for us and you want one paw to step into one hole and you're gonna get the other paw, Sadie. She wants to lay in the shade. So hopefully you guys can see this. I did try and um, and get the camera to be in the shade for her. Um, she wants to go lay down and she's not really feeling being part of a video today, but that's too bad, Sadie's seating. So typically she will just step into it and you can lay this flat on the ground, have your dog step into it, and then you're just gonna reach up around and buckle it for them. Now this is Sadie's traditional harness, so this is already fit for her, um, but you don't need to fit it first, obviously. Sit, 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 Sadie, sit, sit. No, you're not going over there. Sadie, sit down, sit. Oh, Sadie Lou, you sit. Sadie, nope. Sit. Hey, sit. Sit. Oh, she is being so stubborn today. I apologize to you guys. Usually she's not quite this stubborn, um, but you can tell from her face that she's hot and she's not really thrilled to be out here, but she's doing good. Um, I guess maybe we'll snuggle. That'll make her feel better. Um, so this, you don't need to fit it. You can just take it out of the package and then, um, put it right on the ground. Sometimes certain harnesses are, um, there's a left and a right paw specifically. Go ahead. Um, there's a left and a right side specifically, so you would want to make sure that those are corresponding. You lay that right on the ground, your dog will step into it, like I said, pull it up and around. Um, and then, let me see if I can get Sadie. Will you sit up for me, big girl? I know. Sit up, yep, it's a lazy hot day, but you have to sit up for a minute. So you can tell, um, again, Sadie's harness is already adjusted for her, but there's adjustment straps just like on a collar. You can just slide those back and forth. Most of them are pretty standard um, the same way. And you want to make sure that this chest piece is down lower than your dog's neck. You don't want it to be up here where the collar is. You can tell Sadie's still wearing her collar um, and it's, it's in place and the harness is much lower than that. So you want that. And across the chest here, you don't want it down here cutting across their shoulder blades and you can feel their shoulder blades. So you don't want it down here. You want it to be up here where it's gonna be comfortable and they have that full range of motion. 
And then the chest strap goes down here. Some harnesses have a chest pad and it's much wider like this. It would be in this whole area um, and then go underneath. That's a comfort thing. Um, Sadie doesn't wear a harness except for when we go to the vet. I, I walk her in there um, on a leash, but she doesn't wear a harness often. So this is the one that we have. If you walk your dog frequently, you might want to try one with the chest, the wider chest pad um, that distributes the weight a little bit more and um, is more comfortable for your dog. They're usually padded as well. So then these on the side here, let me see if I can get Sadie to turn for you. I think as long as she's leaning on me, she's going to do about anything today. She's in lazy mode. Um, so over here on the side, on, on the arms, same thing. You want to tighten those, but you don't want to restrict that range of motion, and you certainly don't want it so tight that it's chafing or cutting into your dog's armpit. So the rule is the same standard rule for collars for tightness. You want to be able to slip two fingers in here between the collar and between your dog's um, fur, and it's fine. You don't want it to be way looser than that, and you certainly don't want it to be so tight that you can't get two fingers in there. So two fingers in there comfortably, that's the rule. And you want to make sure um, with a collar, of course, you only have that one strap, but on a harness, you have many. So you want to do that everywhere. Make sure the chest strap can fit two fingers. These straps fit the two finger rule. The one up over their back fits the two finger rule. And of course, on the other side, um, on that paw, there's the same one. So you want to do that. Now, my harness has two adjustment points. It has one for the chest and one for the, um, the back strap here. So some of them have one on each side, and they might have four. They might have five. They might have a special adjuster up here. Um, the, typically, the more expensive the harness is, the more features you're going to have and the more you're going to be able to customize it and there might be four or five different adjustment points so adjust every adjustment point again they're very simple to adjust you can slide them and adjust them until every strap on the harness ha follows that two finger rule so that's pretty easy I can go ahead and take this off Sadie and you did good yeah you did good so again, this is that step into harness. This is what they look like. You can lay that down flat. Your dog steps into it and you pull it up and around. Now I will go ahead and grab our little dog, Molly, and I will show you the over the head harness, which is my personal preference. And I will explain why in just a second. Everybody's having a lazy hot day today. So this is our little beagle, Molly. And if I can actually get her to stand up for you. Ugh, come on, Molly, Molly, come here. Malika, nope, she's gonna be lazy bones too. So I will see her, I can pick up so it's a little bit easier. So this is our over the head harness and you unbuckle it, it's got a plastic buckle just like the other harness. You slide it over your dog's head. Whoops, not in their mouth, sorry Molly. And then you just wrap this strap around their belly and buckle it and it's that simple and then you have the harness piece here. Hi, hi pretty girl, I know it's hot. It's awful hot. So aside from getting it in her mouth, that's um, obviously you can tell that's a little bit easier to put on. You don't have to make your dog step into it. You slide it over, buckle around and snap. Now again, this is um, Molly's traditional harness that she wears when we go for a walk. So this is fitted to her, but same thing. Um, you've got some different adjustment points. One is here around um, the chest strap. And again, you want that to be nice and low down by, um, down underneath your shoulder blades not up on their neck where a collar would traditionally sit. So you can see a collar on Molly would sit right about here and you can see how much lower that strap is. So that's what you want. There's an adjuster there. There's an adjuster here on this side for the girth for underneath her belly. And same thing, you want that two finger rule. So you can easily slide those, tighten them up, make sure again, every strap. So underneath for the girth, your chest strap here, um, and the back here is all that two finger rule. <laughs> Molly is gonna tip over her. <laughs> oh, silly girl. This is what happens with us in the heat. Again, we're from Maine, so we're not used to this hot weather and we all turn into sillies when it gets hot like this. So this is Molly's harness. This is the over the head harness. Um, again, I, this is the harness that I personally prefer only because it's easier. Um, I feel like it's easier. I got your hair in my mouth, yucky. Um, only because I, I feel like it's easier for me as a pet owner to just slide it over um, and do that. It's not really easier to adjust. I think it's it's about the same to adjust um, as far as like time wise and, and difficulty. It's not difficult to adjust. Um, but I think it's easier for, for Molly too. As you could tell Sadie, um, she really, <laughs> I silly goose. 
she wasn't really feeling stepping into that harness today. Now, um, Sadie's very easygoing, and I can certainly make her step into that harness. Um, but with the over-the-head harness, your dog can stand wherever they want. They don't have to walk into a certain area. Um, they can just stand wherever they want. You slide it over their head and buckle it around. So I prefer the over-the-head harness. But again, whichever one's your preference. Um, some people think that the um, the step into harnesses, a lot of the um, more top quality harnesses, like I said, have those chest pads and that kind of stuff that um, people look for. You can find those in over-the-head harnesses. But over-the-head harnesses are typically a little bit more... Um, traditional in the strapping so it's it's up to you um it's a personal preference and of course for your dogs whichever one your dog is more comfortable in our dogs don't spend a lot of time in harnesses very few um probably they spend about three hours a year maybe in a harness um if that sometimes well i guess sometimes if we go hiking we do take them um we do have harnesses but all our dogs are very well um trained at walking on a leash so we typically just use collars um, but if your dog spends a lot of time in a harness you might want a, a more comfortable one with um, some more padding and a little bit more uh, material to disperse some of that that uh, pull from the leash so something to think about um, I prefer the over the head harness if you guys have any questions about either the step in or the over the head harness and how to fit your dog with a harness I would be happy to uh, help you with that so just uh, reach out and ask chances are somebody else is having the same question as well if you guys have any questions about any other how-to videos um, or any recipes any um, product reviews that you guys would want to see or product comparisons um, I would be happy to show you if you followed some of my other videos you know that I do uh, a good mix of different types of videos so um, whatever you guys want to see let me know again if you have any questions about these harnesses or um, how to use and how to fit um, either the step in or the over the head harness I would be happy to answer those questions you can find us on social media we are on Facebook Twitter and Google Plus we're also on Instagram my sweetheart uh, you can find us on our website, topdogtips.com. My contact information is there. If you want to send me an email, you can do that at samantha at topdogtips.com. I'd be happy to help anybody with any questions. Or, again, um, I'm always looking for new ideas for new videos that you guys would like to see. So make sure you send those my way. And I will be back next time with another how-to video for you guys. So stay tuned for that.